Greetings everyone, welcome back, Better H here to another episode of Sim Airport. We uh, are making money ever so slowly. We have two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in loans out. Let's let's take that down just a bit. Let's take that down and even two hundred thousand. We've still got some work to do in the underground realm. Uh, eventually, here we're going to have to get our our stuff bossed out to here, so that we can get these last couple of places to work out. Our sales rep offices are doing wonderful work. It's 2 a.m. So I think we're going to take the time to make everything work here. So we're getting about $24,000, $25,000 a day. Uh, hopefully that'll continue. We're going to have all big airplanes coming in when we build our next one. So we're going to want to get everything in place here before we get those last little bits. Finish building out our airport. Get all the all the little things like, uh, you know, floors and stuff. <laughs> I really wish they wouldn't run through those areas. I wish they'd just kind of, you know, take the flow area that we've got here rather than... As you can see, our... We're getting some interesting, uh, some interesting work here. People are still stacking up in our coach line. We're going to need to add the other two desks here as well, I think. But some of that's going to have to come here. Fueling them up. Making some money. And then it's about us taking a look at foundation costs. 115,000 to get it all the way out there. Wow. That's going to take a little bit of time, I'm afraid. So what are we doing on this episode? Well, like I said, we do need to do some things like, uh, well, we've got our area up here pretty much all wrapped up. Need to add some tile floors over here, I think. As we get our large gates together and everything, it, it will all start to make sense. And our fuel tanks continue to pull some, uh, pull some stuff in our way here. Security is moving much quicker. And it's a little cheaper with one guy working the... Uh, one guy handling all the baggage there. Even as the large planes come in, security is not getting overwhelmed yet, which is a good sign. As first class and crew continue to work, um, we might want to add another. I think we're going to want to add another self-checking kind of tick ticketing kiosks over here. It will let people access these things much, much quicker. There we go. Look at that. Look at them all rolling right through and then move quickly to security. So we don't have... Uh, 
nearly the issue there. So the bagless are in good shape. <laughs> what I did want to do is find some way to add like a uh, coffee bar or a bar up here, but I think as we bring out our, uh, which is really the, the, the reasoning for adding this area here, was to allow me to expand this upper section here to put in a small bar over here. So that we've got another place to eat and drink besides the cafe upstairs, or at least to get a quick sip of something um, more adultish, so to speak. Let's take a look at where we're sitting here. Once we get our fuel purchase, because only going to be half a tank of fuel, that's good. We've actually had a very productive day, money-wise. Passenger satisfaction is at 91%. Only 11 missed departures. That's good. 41 with connection. Okay, so we're getting connections now. Outstanding. We made our payments. So again, we can, we can take another 25,000 off the books here. And as they do things like repair and maintain the runway, which is something we always want to make sure we've got kept up to date. If we had more folks working, we could do more, but I don't mind them only taking it up to 88% through the night. Or, you know, 90%, uh, if that means we can keep our costs down. Because as it is, we've slipped into the red ever so slightly. But obviously that's going to that's gonna bunker right up once we get the... Uh, we could... I think what I want to do here with a little bit of the money we get today is finish off this little piece. So let's go to our floors, go down here to Stone 07C. Spend the $600 to get that. We'll get the flooring in the kitchen as well. That's something we haven't had up to this point. Help our staff out a little bit. So they're not walking on bare concrete all day. They're working on tile instead. See?
the pay downs are a big thing. In that it allows our people to It still has to be zoned properly, right? foundations creeping their way for a few moments here and then what I'll probably do between this stream or between this video and the next is let a bunch of time run off the clock so to speak and uh, see if we can't uh, get ourselves to the point where we're uh, ready to build a bunch more of this because yeah, we need to get rid of that. All the walls that we hang on to then are then recycled, so to speak, so I don't exactly know how they do that, but you know, they managed to make it work. And again, we've cut our loan in over by a third already, so every time that happens, the nice thing of it is that we're owing less the next day. Compound interest, debt snowballs, so to speak. Start to get the floors down the executive corridor, right? It 
Is that probably too many floors? Yeah, but... stand is making a lot of money, our apparel stand is making a lot of money, our food vending is making a small fortune. As we crack through another day, it's really been quite interesting so far. I hope you're all enjoying the uh, series. If you are, please consider giving us a like and a th you know that thumbs up helps. Tell some friends about the stream, of course, subscribing, leaving comments, all that benefits makes me a little more visible, so hopefully a little more people uh, find out about the stream. That's or find out about the videos. Yes, I stream too. It's all good. Eventually, my mind will catch up with the rest of me. Although at my age, that's getting harder and harder. That's our gas. We're still two thirds. Of productivity there, so that's okay. Ah, there comes a plane wants another fuel up. Works for me. Fuel up, then fill up. <laughs> How do we have a Beechcraft 1900 at this gate? Oh my goodness! Baggage hub boosters and fuel ports. Fuel ports sound fun, don't they? When we get our bigger airports, we'll definitely go to those. Uh, just because it's so much smoother. So as you can see, we have moved some stuff. We've added a little bit of flooring. We haven't done a whole lot, but I wanted to kind of... Uh, Take this one back a little bit so we can make sure that the airport is running fairly efficiently, which it appears to be. Every time you're getting this stuff with, with successful departures, oh, a lot of missed departures today. Not sure why. See, those are the things we have to look out for, is when you have stuff. Now, it may have been the weather, because we do have a lot of crosswind today and a lot of stormage, so... 158 missed departures is not great, but we still have 350, 360 in the airport at a time. 19 people are very unsatisfied. 25 people are very unsatisfied with hunger and frustration. So we have to find more shopping needs for them and more... Uh, the shopping would be good. Any way to... to uh, get them to help out. So maybe is it worthwhile before we do that? I want to get the baggage done. I need to get the baggage done so that I can start uh, making it easier for people to get their bags through to the big planes here. That is truly important. And let's see. So that takes us down to $100,000 owed. So that is huge because our interest rate uh, means uh, the amount we're paying 
effectively is dropped down to half of what we were. So we're making, you know, more money, I think, than what it says we're making, which is good. We need that. The small stands here are in good shape. Well, I think that's going to be it for this particular episode. I hope you all have enjoyed yourselves. And come back for the next one. Remember, folks, keep the rubber side down, those wheels on the ground. That's what you want to land with first. And be kind to one another out there.